Hey there, how you doing? I'm Mr. Bo, and in this video, I'm going to be guiding you through how to build and fully upgrade Klaus in Mao de Toten. Now, Klaus is the helper robot who will kill zombies for you, and he'll also be useful in getting things like a free wonder weapon, which I'll cover in a separate video. But you might be starting this map off fresh, and you have really no idea what's going on or how to even get this guy, so let's break it down. So for the first step in actually building Klaus, we need three different parts. You'll first need to get the power on, which is pretty straightforward, just follow the objectives. Once the power is on, you'll then be guided to the Pack-a-Punch area, and this is where we can begin collecting our parts. So on either side of the Pack-a-Punch are these two areas with watchtowers, and in these little areas you can actually run around and dig up the ground. Now be careful, because if you stand in the spotlights they will try to kill you, but dig up the mounts of dirt, until eventually you dig up the microwave dish. Now the second part we need is from a Krasny Soldat, which only spawns at about round 10 and afterwards. So make your way to round 10 until eventually one of them spawns and simply kill him. Killing him will then drop the battery on the floor and you go ahead and pick it up. Now the third part is a little bit tricky to get. You need to make sure you have brain rot on one of your guns and you need to head to hotel room 305. Going from spawn, you wanna take the left zip line and that takes you into the hotel and this is sort of the back corner room. You'll notice there is a door that is boarded up. So what you need to do is you need to shoot a zombie in this room with brain rot. It'll then run over to the door and start unbarricading it. Once that's done, you can head into the room and you'll find a dead body on the bed. This is Agent Jack, and just like in Firebase Z, if you interact with it, you go into a small little cutscene. Now those will be your three parts you need. You can then head back underground into the subway and go into the safe house, and you can build Klaus. Now he will activate straight away for you, but he does have a time limit. After a while, he will return back to this seat, and it will cost you 2,000 points to actually activate him again from that point forward. So we can actually upgrade him a couple of times here, and every time we upgrade him, he gets better until he's rocking full upgraded Pack-a-Punch weapons. Now the next thing you need to do is use Klaus and get him to kill enemies. Now I've heard a few contradicting things, get him to just kill zombies an entire round and have you not kill any zombies, or get him to kill 50 zombies. I'm not entirely sure, I used him for about two rounds and I let him do most of the killing, especially on one of those new sort of dog rounds where the flaming zombies come at you. I let him kill all the zombies in those rounds. So just get him to kill a load of zombies and then you need to head to the factory and into the garment factory. Now in the corner you will have an upgrade station, here you'll then need to place the satellite dish that we already picked up into the upgrade station, and then we can call Klaus to the upgrade station, once you've done that he will hop in, but this will put you in a lockdown state, so I suggest doing it on an early round and not like me, doing it on round 28, because it can get very hectic in here, but you need to defend him for a minute, worst zombies try and attack him. Now at least on round 28, his health went down pretty quickly, so make sure you are defending him. Once you've done that, you can then move on to the next step. Now for the next step, you're going to need the UV light. So we need to head to the switch control room, and you'll find a locker with a number zero above it. Simply call Klaus to that locker, he will punch it open, and you'll have the UV light. Now this is used for a couple of things, but specifically for upgrading Klaus, we need to find a couple of electrical boxes around the map. Now I found four, but there might be a few more hidden around the map, so you're just going to have to keep a lookout. But the ones that I found are located in the maintenance tunnel, in the hotel, in the blasted suite, and in the fifth floor apartments by spawn. Now when you get to these electrical boxes, you want to shine your UV light on it, and if it's got a picture of Klaus next to it, that means you need to call Klaus to it. Calling Klaus to it will then allow him to punch it open, and inside you will find a floppy disk. Now, two of these electrical boxes will have Klaus's head next to them. So keep looking around the map until you find the correct ones and get him to open both of them. Now once you've done that and you've picked up both of the floppy disks, you can then head back to the factory and to the upgrade station. Simply call Klaus to the upgrade station, he will hop in, and then using your floppy disk, you can insert it and upgrade him. Now he'll upgrade to level 1 to begin with, but then you can wait around, call him to the upgrade station again, and put in the second floppy disk, and that will fully upgrade him to level 3. You can see he's got a sort of punk look with the red mohawk, and he will have a level 3 pack-a-punch weapon, and he just shreds through enemies even on high rounds that I was on of like 30 plus. So it's definitely worth doing if you are trying for those high rounds, and who knows, maybe you'll need to upgrade him for the main easter egg or something along those lines, but hopefully this guide was helpful, you've been able to build Klaus as well as fully upgrade him. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer. 
Also, click that like button, and if you aren't already, then consider subscribing for more gaming content and coverage. Apart from all that though, thank you very much for watching and for hanging out. I do super appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll catch you in some future content. But until then, as always, make sure you take care. Bye-bye.